In South Central Oregon, Klamath County sprawls across 6,000 square miles of mountains, forests, lakes, and rivers. Yet, it has only 66,000 residents, a third of whom live in Klamath Falls, a once thriving timber town now looking to reinvent itself. The vast county is a recreational paradise for residents and tourists alike, but also creates isolation for many who live in remote areas. That is one of the many health challenges being embraced by Klamath County citizens as they join forces to create multiple countywide initiatives to improve the health of all. Thanks everybody for coming this morning. There's a lot of challenges that we face in Klamath County. One, just being a rural community makes it difficult because services are far away. What makes it tricky is they don't have just one intervention that will help fix the problem. And so that's where a Healthy Klamath Coalition came in, where we decided, okay, all these different sectors, let's come together. Let's look at what we can do to help start moving the needle in the right direction. Health equity is at the core of Healthy Klamath Coalition. Someone once explained to me, equality is giving everyone a shoe. Equity is giving everyone a shoe that fits. Being in a, a remote area, living far from the resources for healthcare, has lots of different ways that that can affect an individual's health. Uh, part of it is just the geographic distance, you know, from where you live to where you access healthcare, but it's all sorts of aspects around that as well. For the Latino community, it's really hard, especially if they don't have a doctor established already. Um, if your child gets sick, transportation is a big issue. One really great way that we've been able to reach those outlying areas is through our community health worker program. And so our community health workers and the nurses and social workers that they work with travel all throughout the county. We offer many, many services. This is outpatient care management and uh, it was created in order to break down barriers that our patients were having in meeting doctor's appointments and trying to stay out of the emergency room. And we provide for our patients just about everything. I always say that our community health workers um, do miracles on a day-to-day -day basis other than walk on water. Cascades East Family Medicine Residency Program is a training program for people who are going into family medicine. So people who finished medical school will spend three years in postgraduate training where they become board certified as family physicians. And I just really want to be a part of something bigger than myself. So I want to be a part of Klamath being healthier and better. Having the graduates that come out of this program stay in Klamath helps to make sure that we are able to have people that are committed to serving the community. And so it's a really essential piece to maintain primary care access. There's something of a critical mass of young professionals here that's contributing and has a positive feedback loop. Uh, the more people come and stay, the more economy there is, the, the more people can come. There's many agencies that are you know, knocking on Klamath Tribal Health's door and asking to align or asking to partner with on special projects, and that's really nice. They're ready to um, align with the tribes and um, come to the table to drill down into some of these harder topics. There's some really amazing programs even between Klamath County Public Health and Klamath Tribal Health, you know, just aligning county and tribal health services together has been really fantastic work that's been done. We are at my small vegetable farm. I grow 140 different varieties of vegetables on and sell them to my customers. We have local farmers who have great products, whether it's eggs or honey or meat or fruits and vegetables. And instead of shipping them out, we want our local residents to have access to that. So what they created was the Klamath Farmers Online Market. Farmers and ranchers in Klamath County can post onto the website. They can create a listing um, with whatever products they have that week that are available. And then customers can go online and they can pick and choose what they want. They then pick up what they ordered at a central pickup location. 
there was a need for year-round access to local fresh food. And we wanted people to be able to use their SNAP benefits year-round to buy local food. So when the farmer's market is accepting SNAP and WIC and the senior discount vouchers and things like that, that is increasing access for um, the low-income individuals in our community and supporting our local economy and our local producers at the same time. So when those, when those come together, you're really accomplishing both. Mills neighborhood in Klamath Falls is probably the most special neighborhood. I love growing up here. All the houses were painted in great shape. The yards were all taken care of. That kind of went away and the neighborhood went down a little and then the Great Recession happened. People moved away. With the Mills Neighborhood Association just reaching out to folks and saying, let's talk to our governing bodies to see if they'll pitch in and lend a hand and we've seen uh, an investment in the community. The city government in Klamath Falls has started a program in the past couple years to help battle blight, where they started offering small mini grants, say $200, $300, things like that, to help people pay for things like a new coat of paint on the fence or a new coat of paint on the exterior of their house. And what that does is help the perception of well-being because people want to feel good about where they live. A few of the key factors um, that are associated with the turnaround of the Mills neighborhood, um, policing with a purpose, reaching out to the neighbors, and connecting yeah. with the neighborhood, yeah. rather than just looking at law enforcement as you know primary reactive, we're trying to find out where people have needs and how we can help them All right. out. Have a great morning. The trust is huge and that's because of our transparency. We try to tell the public what we are doing and why. We have CPAT, the Citizens Police Advisory Team. You guys were really great about responding. We had five units. To allow the public in and, and having a say in what we do. Klamath Works is a community group that seeks prosperity for those in poverty. Klamath Works brings the mattresses in here to recycle, and our sole purpose here is to create jobs. Klamath Works is really looking at how to create that wraparound support model for social services with a campus environment. What we really hope to have is a caseworker, instead of saying, you need to go seek this treatment, take your kids to this appointment, and here's a bus token. Instead, they can say, let me walk you over and show you where you're going to do this. Several years back, the grocery store downtown closed. The problem that presented was now it's a food desert. And so a lot of people were working on, hey, how can we get a grocery store back in here? So the county did something a little non-traditional and they bought the property. And then they worked to find a grocer who is willing to occupy that space and, and buy back the building. And then they also talked with Sky Lakes Medical Center who said, yes, we would like to run that pharmacy downtown. And so we're really excited to have that. The residents right downtown you can walk to the grocery store. And the other nice little piece is that there's now a protected bike lane that goes all through that neighborhood. So people, if they don't have a car, they can ride their bikes safely right to the grocery store and pick up their food. The route for this lane was uh, basically a, a result of, of GIS analysis. And we found that it was this avenue, this corridor, that was had a high propensity for obesity. And this is a win-win situation. Uh, because if we can affect people to uh, have a healthier lifestyle, then we're going to save a lot of money and have healthier people. Data is incredibly important to Klamath County and making decision and making investments. And we've shown that through several, several different projects. The GIS analysis um, finds its way to, to solve a, a community problem in terms of the density of parks. You know, do we have enough parks? And if we were to put it in another park, where should it go? What one of my students has done has done a walking analysis of, of a 10 minute walk to parks for the entirety of Klamath Falls. And indeed we see areas 
that we're good to go with the uh, density of parks and there's areas that if funds come available, this could be an area for initiation of another park. So GIS is again helping solve community related problems. There's no final destination to health improvement. There's always things that we can improve on and we know that we can do better. And we know that as we're working together, we will see improvement. We're, we're starting to move the needle. Mm -hmm.